everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to take you on a tour of my planner space today. A lot has changed since I did my last video, so I wanted to give an updated tour. So let's get into it. Okay, so my planner space is split up into like three zones. So we have this zone, which is like all of my, like my computer, my planners, my stickers, and all of that. The middle zone is like my filming zone. And then the last zone is like what my Etsy store is gonna be. My Etsy shop rather. And then of course we have my ginormous bookcase. So let's get started on the left side, which is my, um, like where I do my planning. Over on the this side is usually like where my planners sit. I just keep them over here in the corner. And then I have these two cubes. And I keep my Moxie Life Planner up here, my goal planner. This is my journal that I write in every night. This is my memory planner. And then I just keep some odds and ends in here. This is um, like a little stapler, some clips and stuff. This is my pen that I got from Levenger. Um, and then the journal. And then down here, um, I just keep like whatever little miscellaneous things like my camera. You'd think I would be filming on that, but no. Um, <laughs> this just has another stapler, some sticky notes, and some an ink pad. Up here, I have uh, like my whiteout, a brush pen, and my X-Acto knife. And then up here is usually where I keep the stickers that I'm currently using for that week or month. Okay, so then up here, I have uh, just a little ruler, my, um, what are they, my tweezers. This is my paper for my Canon selfie, and then I just have some notepads and things. And then on the wall here, I have a lot of stuff. Um, I've been trying to put some cool things on the wall. All right, and then up here at the top is where all of my most used stickers go. So from left to right, these are just two spiral bound, like just notebooks. These house like my miscellaneous sticker sheets and then my cloth and paper dots. These are my weekly and monthly kits, my Planner Kate functional stickers, miscellaneous functional Planner Kate samplers, and then lots of little books with some different things. I have a lot of Mandy Lynn plan stickers, Piper Paper Co. Amber Sticker Shop, and then the Coffee Monsters Co. And these are just some miscellaneous right here. So right here is just a little business card thing with the cloth and paper AM PM routine cards in there. And then I sort of made like a little bridge, I guess you could say, with a monitor riser in the middle just so I could have a little bit of extra space. Because even though it's a long wall, I still needed to figure out some kind of creative ways to store things. <laughs> so in this one, we just have a lot of cloth and paper stuff, um, sticky notes and things like that. There's my AirPods, um, paper clips and whatnot. And then on the wall, of course, I've started adding just some people that I like and things like that. And then of course, up at the top is my two autographs that I love the most. And then of course we have my iMac, which I'm not going to, because then you'll be able to see me in the reflection and my hair looks like really messy. So then up here is just where I keep my rings when I'm not wearing them. And then there is my DVD, like CD drive for my computer. There is my MacBook Pro. This is my pocket planner that I normally keep in my purse, but right now it's just sitting out. And then on this shelf, these are my hard drives. I have one for YouTube and then one for personal stuff. There's my car keys. <laughs> and then this is my Pandora bracelet. I just keep it in the box tucked back there. All right, and then let me move my keyboard out of the way. I keep my headphones plugged in because this is our bedroom also and I like to edit with my headphones in. So then on this shelf, I have my Tombow brush markers and then my iPad Pro. And then down here, I'm not going to pull this out because there's mail there. Um, it's just where I keep like a little portfolio with like documents in it and things and then just some other random stuff. 
All right, so let's take a look at the middle here. I've got a lot of stuff in the middle. <laughs> I just have another acrylic organizer with some more cloth and paper sticker, sticky notes. This is where I keep the inserts that I'm currently using in my planner. This is my personal ones, and then this is my pocket rings one. Um, I have the cute little uh, Rose Apothecary lip gloss <laughs> that I got, my ruler, and then just a pen cup. And then this is my washi drawer. I got this at Michael's. And then I have like just a bunch of washi, my um, mild liners that I use with my Moxie Life planner. Those are in there. And then the rest is just mostly washi. There's some other little random things tucked in the back. There's a lighter so I can light my candles. And then this is a full drawer of washi. <laughs> All right, so this is where I film. Um, this is my ring light situation. It's a 19 inch sun pack ring light that I got from Best Buy. And then I have this, which my husband did. If you look at my Instagram stories, I explain in more detail like how this setup came to be. And then I just lay my phone across and film. My phone still works good for me, so I just... I just still use that. So, <laughs> um, down here we just have a little picture of Ian Summerhalder and <laughs> Paul Wesley, and then my little trash can that I put my sticker scraps in, a cute little llama, and then my Canon selfie. So this little mat I just keep in the middle when I'm not filming because I like to lay my planners on it whenever I write in them so they don't get scratched up. And so, let's see, let's go underneath the desk, which is not as scary as it might have been earlier. <laughs> so back there on the bottom is my camera bag with all of my camera stuff in it. And then on the other side, um, I just have like some extra bags, like my backpack, um, tote bags, an umbrella, different stuff like that. Yeah, there's a hole puncher back there, an old, <laughs> an old CD drive. So that's it. And then all my cords are in the like middle little thing there. All right. So let's go on to the other side here. I'm going to start underneath the desk first just because it's a little bit easier to start underneath and then work up. So underneath here is where all of my packaging supplies for Etsy will be. There's my larger envelopes, my smaller envelopes some overflow happy planner stickers, and then just some extra like printer paper, cardstock on the bottom. In the middle, sorry for my finger. <laughs> um, not on the middle, on the end here, we have all of my happy planner stickers that I have left. I just put them in that crate and it works very well. It's easy to get to whenever I need to um, find some stickers. So then moving up on the desk, this is where my Etsy stuff will happen basically. So I have my new paper cutter, which I really love. It's a rotary blade cutter and it cuts so much better than the other one. Um, it is a little pricey, but I love it <laughs> so much. So let me move that out of the way and then I'll show you what's going on in this little cube over here. So in the cube, I have um, regular printer paper, 32 pound paper, vellum, some sticker paper, and then my cover sock that I'll be using for my dashboards. Then right now I'm using my mom's Cricut because the Cricut is actually just like so much more user friendly. Sorry for all the shadows also. The lighting is not great. Let me turn on this. Ah, that's a little bit better. Okay. So I'm using my mom's Cricut and then I just have some like tools and stuff right there. And then I have the queen like poking her head out the, <laughs> out the Cricut. I just thought it was cute. I need to change my calendar, but this is the Coffee Monsters Co. calendar. And then in here, I just have um, a small little cutting mat, a big ruler. This is a thing that you put your laptop on. I just stick it in here. And then my printer. Right now, I have this big Hamilton print on the printer until I get my frame. But this is my printer. It is the Canon iX6820. It is amazing. It prints really beautifully. All right. So then on the shelves, I have my... Do not bend stickers that are going to go on my packages, my thank you stickers, some miscellaneous like little notepads, um, picture of me and my husband at the back there. Then I have this little box, it's just the bottom of a box, I just thought it was pretty, with my hole puncher, my laptop cord, and then a picture that a fellow planner drew for me a long time ago. Then I have some paper clips, my little cards here, and then I have like my little freebies. 
And then I have um, the, I'm not going to say her name because she'll talk to us, but that's sitting there. And then up at the top, I just have just some decorative stuff, like some books and just some cute little stuff. There's my doggy who went over the Rainbow Bridge a long time ago. And then some happy planner discs. Okay, so over here on this side, I have two of the cloth and paper prints framed, which look really good. I kind of want to get black frames for them, but I don't know. Then I just have a lot of like little Funko Pops on the top. They're very dusty. You don't pay attention to that. <laughs> First shelf here, I just have a candle, a picture of my dad, some books, um, a Wonder Woman statue, a picture of my granddaddy. And then on the second shelf is a picture of my nanny back there. Both of them are gone, but I love them so. And then I have um, like a little corgi thing, my silhouette, a punch, and then just a little box like organizer thing of just some like random, random little stuff. All right. And then over here on this shelf, I just have some more, like a couple more books. And these are all like sketch pads and drawing pads. And then I have like a little book full of my photography. Would you guys like to see some of my photography? I used to do it a little bit more now, but there's some of it. Super cute. Love. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> If you're local, like Jacksonville, Florida, Orange Park area, hit me up. We'll do some pictures. All right. So then on, this is super cool. So I got this idea from Allie. I just turned it into a place to house all of my pins. So you'll see, like, I have a ton, a ton of pins, like all different kinds. But it's really cool because they just fit in there really nicely. Like Tombow brush markers won't fit in there, but it's okay. So then I just have two like really random things sitting here <laughs> on the bottom shelf. I have a lot of my Erin Condren stuff that I don't use anymore. My RBG bobblehead that my husband got me and I love. I've got some more books and like an Eiffel Tower. And then we have more books <laughs> and then just some storage boxes, some Happy Planner stickers, a couple of Happy Planner right there more storage boxes and then this is my little bulletin board area that's a picture of my dad and my stepmom my nanny um and i just keep my like little collection of pins right there and just some other like little random things the last part of my space is just this cart it's my cart that i've had forever ever since i started planning i just have my small cellophane bags on here larger cellophane bags i've got my camera this is where I keep my current inserts as I pull them out of my planner. Really pretty um, breakfast at Tiffany's photo thing back there. And then just a lot of random stuff on the bottom, like all of my Apple boxes because I can't seem to throw them away. I just, I save everything. And then my purse. So that is really it for my planner space. I'll show it to you from this way. I love it. I'm going to stop before I get to my closet because my closet is a, it's a big, big stinking mess. So you can kind of see a little piece of it right there. But that is my planner space and I love it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you would like to have any more details about anything that you've seen in the video and whatnot. And I will be happy to give you what I can. That's going to do it for this planner space tour. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.